Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Brett of Anamyces, checking out, for me at least, my first nerd brewing beer. Have you had any nerd brewing? Nope. So, also for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, nerd brewing is a Swedish brewery. I believe the brewer there is a home brewer that brews contract brews at another brewery or how is it? Something yeah. like that. And he's re like that. released some extreme something like carrot cake, barrel aged imperial stout, and yeah. all like these crazy adjunct beers. And they've gotten immensely high ratings but the production is super low and it's been quite hard to get a hold of but we have a bottle to review right now of one yep. of, i think it's maybe the first release of 2018 it is uh so it is and it's, it's super rare it's super rare you can taste the rareness yes. <laughs> <laughs> taste rare so this is nerd brewing's open source beer as they call them uh Pojo or Poho or Poyo? Poyo? I don't know how you pronounce it. But this is Pojo. an Imperial Vietnamese coffee brown ale aged on bourbon oak. So I think when they say bourbon oak, I think it's because it's been aged on bourbon oak chips. Not bourbon soaked oak chips, but actually it's ch chips of oak from an actual bourbon barrel. Yeah, we, we don't uh, we, really, we don't know, really know because you can't really find the info online. But they got like original gravity, final gravity. EBC, IBU, everything. 55 IBU, and that's also quite high for yeah. brown ale. Brown ale, yeah. And it's on 9%, but that's all the info. It says that it's brewed at, uh, the, if you translate it, the small beer factory in Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. In Sweden. But it will be really fun to try yeah, something because I've heard so much good things about Nerd Brewing. Yeah. And like our friend Martin, he swears of carrot cake. He says it's insane. He says it tastes like a carrot cake imperial style. Like yeah. In beer form, carrot cake in beer form. So, yeah. He hyped it up a bit. And let's so, let's so go people doing one brown line. ale that does it. Yeah, some I kind mean, of justice. If, if you look at it, that, that on camera that looks like an imperial. <laughs> it's pitch stuff. black. It's pitch black. I mean, there. I will say that it is like the darkest shade you could imagine of yeah. brown. Yeah. Like it is. The head isn't like brown, but it's it has this. Uh, it has a mocha. A mocha. Look. It actually looks, it's a very nice head. But I can smell it from here. Mm -hmm. It's, there's a lot of fucking coffee in there. I think yeah. the reason why it's also so dark is because there's, uh, it's cold brew Vietnamese yeah. coffee they use in there. So they probably dunk in a lot and that helps color it. But you want to check out the aroma on yep. Pojo by Nerd Brewing? Let's do it. Oh, oh that, that's <laughs> a fucking... so fudgy and coffee that is, forward and bourbon. That, that almost smells like a glass of freaking coffee and not a beer. <sighs> this smells like cold brew fucking coffee. What the fuck? This is, do you know what this is reminding me of? This is reminding of um, reminding me of when we had the swaggle, the horn swaggle, horn swaggle I double think, espresso. I think this is much more fudgy. No, yeah, it's more but fudgy, it's but very the, I'm t uh, talking specifically about the coffee character, the coffee yeah. character that is so fucking intensely coffee forward. I agree, but it's There's definitely so really much fudgy. coffee, but it's, it's like, but it, it has does, this fudgy brownie mm -hmm. batter kind it, of. But it's not imperial stout like roastiness no. we're getting at all. No. It's, it's almost, to be honest, like, you say pastry stuff, pastry brown ale? Um, I'm thinking it like imperial porter, like funky boo. I can see a bit of the porter because it has yeah. some of the toastiness underneath, but... Yeah, it's more toasty than it's... Super nutty though, yeah. like the classic brown ale hazelnut notes and whatnot are in there yeah. for sure. Loads of it, but holy crap, a lot of co almost like a brown, farine, brown sugar? Yeah, brown sugar, caramel. Yes, yes, but holy Toffee. crap. Toffee. At vanilla notes, yeah. I'm not specifically smelling like bourbon. But it has it, some. I think it has it has a, a bourbony note to it. But Maybe it's that not kind like of bourbon spirit. Bourbon is yeah yeah. I'm, I I can see what you mean. Yeah. Let's let's give this bad boy a taste. Cheers. Cheers. What a mouthfeel on that bad boy! Oh, oh it's really bitter. It's it's very much like drinking Damn. coffee. And the aftertaste right now is just building. Right. Coffee, 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 <laughs> coffee, 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 coffee. What? This is so coffee forward. Mm. It's really, it's the same type of coffee flavor with, with Hornswogger, for me at least. But it's not, yeah, there's, a, okay, all right, there's a ton of coffee, but it's not. But it's not all coffee, yes. No, the Hornswogger was, all as coffee. you said, almost too much. Yeah, yeah, I don't this think is, this is too much. No, no. no. this is like. Maybe right to the point where yeah it's, yeah yeah just yeah. before it's too just much. right because there's like it, it it's it's right now it feels like you're drinking a cup of like uh, French press coffee yeah 
or espresso coffee <laughs> type thing, but it has beer flavor. Yeah. Because it has these brown ale flavors. Actually, right now in the aftertaste, I'm getting lots of nuttiness, but yeah. it feels like the nuttiness is, from the brown ale is amplified by the coffee. It's like this weird, like, kind of... Is it coffee nutty flavor or is it brown ale malt yeah. nutty flavor? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. It just keeps on. It's still there. Yeah, yeah. It's insane and the depth it's, yeah, yeah. But of flavor just, is... I'm just wow. tasting loads of coffee right now. Yeah. It's, it's pretty fucking <laughs> Nutty <laughs> coffee, dark chocolate kind of coffee. And almost like uh, it's, it's got some sweetness, like a vanilla-y sweetness, yeah. but almost... Like, I, I don't want to say syrupy, but it's almost like that Starbucks kind of like... Uh, not. They, I think they have like... Is it like a caramel? No, not caramel. Sorry. Uh, hazelnut syrup or something? Cause it there has this... Hazelnutty... I, I agree it has some kind of vanilla, hazelnutty, almost caramel... This is fudgy. Definitely making me want to try more yeah. nerd brewing. The coffee flavor is really nice, but it has some very nice vanilla tones as well to it. Uh, Almondy notes too. Yes, but this really, we need to try more nerd brewing. After yeah, this. We have to. So I think what Martin was saying with the carrot cake was probably right because this is fucking yeah. awesome. I, it's one of the better brown ales I've had in a long time. Yeah. For yeah. a style I hate, I would say <laughs> it's really good. This is the second best behind Oki. Coffee Oki. Yeah. Coffee Oki, and then I think Oki. Yeah. Maybe this, I don't know. Maybe this before the regular Oki. But, but we the, don't know, but... Coffee Oki, I gave a 99. I was completely blown away. That was just the craziest mm. brown ale. But uh, it had so much coffee, but also so much of the base beer. And this is in the same way. Maybe this has, has a bit more coffee, actually. It just doesn't have that much of a barrel-type character. Uh, but I'm going to 96. I think this is really fucking awesome. Loads of coffee. Yeah. Uh, and then that, like amplified kind of hazelnutty nuttiness because yeah. it's an imperial brown ale yeah. and you can taste we talked about it being a porter on the aroma and what it tastes more like a brown ale it yeah it just with so much coffee yeah it's just it just has an amazing depth mm -hmm. you know and as you said the I mouth fucking feel, love the, the nuttiness the caramel the toffee the almond the vanilla it has so much depth to it yeah i'm giving it a 97 i think it's one of the absolute best uh, brown ales I've had. Probably the second best. It is really fucking yeah. good. So, first beer for us from uh, Nerd Brewing, yeah. and hopefully not the last. Pretty good stuff. Really, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's, a, yeah, I, we need to try and get the others. This is yeah. really good. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys have a chance to try Nerd Brewing Pocho, I I think the bottle release count of these are super low on uh, pretty much all their like beers. So. 300 bottles or something. So Probably hard to come by, but sometimes the Danish web shops like Box Beers and, and Beer Jum, no, not Beer Jum, that's the name. Yeah. I mean, they have, Kask, they have some of the beers on yeah. it, but they are gone quite quickly. So keep an eye out if you see any uh, box, uh, nerd brewing. Wow, I'm fucking out completely right now. If you see any nerd brewing, check it out. This is really nice stuff, guys. Um, what did you think of Pojo if you had a chance to try it? <laughs> or Popo? Probably not many had this, yeah, but, uh... but if you did, let us know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. <laughs> and we're going to say cheers. And see you guys cheers. in another video review.